everyone, it's Amy from Yo So Boho. Welcome back to another video. Today we are at the Goodwill Bins in Akron, Ohio, and we are on a family adventure. This was earlier in the year, I think within the first week of the month. You could see I have some stuff in my cart already. My aunt and her girls were still on their holiday break. Earth was also shopping with us, so it was kind of a fun family outing, and I decided to roll camera. This is a first. First of all, we haven't been back to the bins since before the shutdown, so probably January, February of last year. This is a cute little left-in vase, had some damage on it. I did put it in my cart, but I ended up leaving it there, and I truly hope that somebody else picked it up. Um... But yeah, I have never tried to record at the bins either. Normally, if you have been to a Goodwill bins, you know how chaotic it is. It is people on top of people trying to shove past you to grab things. And what's really nice about the way that they're they're structured now because of the pandemic, it is only allowing, I think in our store, 40 people at a time and two people to a bin at any time. So you're not in the same kind of crazy, chaotic, um, you know, situation. You can actually have some time to look. And I decided let's try and get some footage and share with everybody what our Goodwill bins look like. Now these on this side of the room are all in these gray and blue bins, the breakables. Normally I would have gloves on, but look at how neat and organized everything is. No stacks of glass, no broken things. So really the changes have been nice and I've enjoyed them. Now going back to that vase that I picked up and I ended up putting down, um, I, I, I just want to say that I started my business to save as much as I can. And being at the bins, you know, there's, it really pulls at your heart because you realize that some of these things, this is the last chance for them because they're headed towards the landfill. You can't save everything. I, I have to realize that, you know, this amber piece was pretty. It had some age, but I can't, you know, it has damage. I have to weigh in my mind. Is it sellable? Is it something I can salvage? Is it something, you know, I will use or will put in my own home decor? This was really weird. Look at this Universal Studios with that 70s veggies on it and a Made in China sticker. <laughs> um, but, you know, those are the things you have to weigh. Like, what is somebody else going to gonna appreciate this? You know, because that's the intent. We, as resellers, we're out there looking for things that we know people will embrace and we can put back into circulation. And that's the point. Like, save as much as we can that we know people will appreciate. Um Maybe this was one of those pieces that I should have picked up. <laughs> um, I, I did look up this little doll and I did pass on her as well. But that's the thing. And I'm, I'm wondering how the whole thing works because some of these things, they're priced like they had gone through the store and some of them, they don't have prices at all. Like these trays, these little tip trays. Did they come through the store or were, was there some sort of overstock? Like they got too many donations and they came straight to the bins. Um, you know, I did grab these, so let's take a look at them. Really cool kind of mid-century modern vibe with these kind of boho. They are called tip trays because they are in that size that you would, you know, maybe use in a restaurant for the receipt and tip. But take a look at the graphics on this. Has those cool mid-century colors. Very cool. I would use these maybe as you know, a trinket dish, maybe on a dresser, or a craft, maybe tray, snack tray. They're made in Japan. They just say alcohol proof. These will be listed on eBay. I have found some similar, but not exactly this one. And they comp for between 15 and $20 for a set of four. Bins shopping can be a little challenging. You have to keep in mind you're paying for things by the pound. So while, you know, I picked this guy up, he had a decent look, but he had a little wear on him. I passed. Maybe I should have got him. This mug looked great. Maybe I should have got it. 
but you can't look everything up there at the bins. It's just not possible. So you really have to key into things, you know, that you think will resell, that have a resell value. That's hard. Now, I did recognize that this piece was a Temptations piece. This is that old world Temptations um, QVC stuff. It does have value, and I knew that. And so I decided, although it was really grubby, <laughs> I would grab it. And I see a lot of these when I'm shopping in the Goodwill in the cookware. I've never seen a utensil piece. And when I looked it up, it looked like they were going for between $15 and $20. This is a heavy piece, so I probably paid about a buck fifty for it, I'm guessing, by weight. I do have it listed currently on eBay for $16.99. And we'll see if somebody's looking for it. Over here, I spotted some pillows, wanted to check them out. That looks like a chocolate chip cookie. That's probably what caught my eye. Maybe it was oatmeal raisin. That's just not right. <laughs> I don't do clothes. I do understand, you know, that there's some value in brands, and this is an area that I do want to learn some. But what was I? Oh, this was just a cute Christmas costume. I guess I was checking that out. Um, but yeah, I and I, I do look on occasion for the single stitch vintage tees because there's value there. I do have some of those of my own that I should probably list. But I just I just don't know enough and don't have the patience yet to really go through um, and find good sellable clothes. Now I did see this on the top of one of the bins and I pulled it out for my sister. It is a Liz Claiborne. Um, jacket. She loves jackets. She actually wore it when she came to visit me this past weekend, and you'll see those in upcoming videos. Um, her and I did some shopping together. But this was new with tags, and it originally it was like $90 or something there. Yeah, $89. It's crazy. So I did snag that, but not for resale. And then you'll see I kind of just avoid the rest of the clothes. Now, I do love that they have some art here. And I do check for prints versus real art. Um, and when I say real art, I will look through a loop and see if, you know, it's a watercolor or if it's an oil. And I was super lucky because on this day, you're not going to see it right here, but I'm about to show you. I came home with an original painting. I'd say I've been pretty lucky in thrifting to find good art and I was very lucky to run across this piece at the Goodwill bins because I paid for it by weight and I don't know exactly what it weighed but it was about $11 for this painting and that was pretty great. This is a local artist. His name is Leroy Tony Cross. There's some information on the back here. For this painting it says from the gallery of Leroy Cross it's an Ohio landscape and it looks like it originally sold or was at least priced for $300 and this has some age to it um, you can see this is this back paper is just crumbling which it will do when it gets old but Leroy Cross was a watercolor artist who he was actually born in Maryland, at some point lived in Akron, Ohio, moved to Kaga Falls, Ohio, but he died in 2016. I think it was October 16th of 2016. He was the president for eight years of the Whiskey Painters of America, and he taught at Akron University, the Massillon Museum, and the Cuyahoga Valley Art Center for many years. So kind of special, some history, local history, and it's well composed. I am happy to have it. I will be holding on to it. It will be going up on my wall like most of my other um, large paintings that I have found. Um, so I'm pretty stoked to own this. And if anybody local knows anything more about Leroy Tony Cross, please feel free to add it below. Um, this is an exciting find always pick up reusable bags this was fun it was one of those living dead dolls um it's kind of creepy kind of cool 
But I always pick up these bags. They cost nothing. They weigh nothing. And I'm paying by the pound, so pennies probably. And then I don't have to use their plastic. And we also get points at my Goodwill if you don't use a plastic bag. I got a pool noodle, which is great for shipping. So is that paper. Way cheaper than craft paper. And then if you see this toy down here, this little thing, it had its battery still in it. Had the remote everything. I found the remote separate than the, the little car, but... I, uh, and this bird was great. I put him right on my Christmas tree. But take a look at this toy. Don't bite it. Don't bite it. Bubba. Wait, don't bite it. <laughs> yes, my dog loves that toy, and so does Earth, so. It went home and it stayed home. These are some books that I picked up, uh, mostly for us. We do a lot of chicken, so uh, Earth picked up that chicken book. Earth also picked up the uh, helpful tips. I picked up the art book. I did show some of these books, but I just wanted to give you a little bit of a peek into some other things that you may have saw in my cart. This is just a nice little magnet pad. I like these just to keep around, keep one in the purse. And then these are neat. I probably will list these both on eBay together. This is um, Silver Lake Park. Um, just a nice history book. And then this one is about Cleveland Heights, which used to be a very wealthy area of Cleveland which is now in ruins um, it's an interesting piece of history in the Cleveland area maybe I'll list them together maybe I'll list them apart but interesting history this was just a drawing on the right side of the brain so it says it's a course in enhancing creative creativity and artistic confidence um, I do some art um, I love to paint and I have been doodling a little bit more and thought this might be fun to look through and to maybe just get a refresher on perspective, tips and tricks, point of view, picture plane, stuff like that. Not that I bake, but I can imagine putting a gift in there. So I believe there's two in there and they were $5, but at the bins, they probably probably cost maybe 25 cents and then you saw these this is a book that earth picked up he liked that it had household hints he wanted this chicken cookbook because the man could live on chicken alone and then I liked this this is um, paleo recipes I've been eating a bit healthier um, doing some keto based recipes and this looked to have some interesting things I picked that up. I found this Nutcracker Santa in the bins. He was missing his little numbered dice, and we did a search, and Earth found one, and a an older woman said, are you looking for these? And she handed us the other one. So that was kind of neat. And yeah, we grabbed him. He was a bit of a cool find. Just a 2015 Target piece. He's a Santa Nutcracker, and looks like he originally sold for $10, but he's a functioning Nutcracker. Pretty cool. I will be saving him to list um, later this year, maybe 85 days out from Christmas. <laughs> Here was something else that somebody had donated that was Christmas. It was a, like a album scrapbook. This is a nice, in the box, new, brand new, made by Hallmark, instant scrapbook. It came with some extra single pocket pages, which is nice. And the book itself is in perfect condition with beautiful, already kind of created scrapbook pages where you just have to pop your photos in. And that's kind of cool. These are listed right now, this one in particular, um, 10 to 12 to 13 dollars. 
I have decided to keep this for the holiday season because I think right now, you know, I'm not going to get what I could get for it if I list it maybe in November. Um, so, and with the extra pouches, I'll probably put it around $15. If you're curious as to how the pricing works in the bins, this is how it's structured. So all the dishes, glasses, stuff like that for kitchen is 49 cents a pound. Anything else, so all the clothes, all the decorative stuff, dolls, all that kind of stuff is up to 30 pounds, $1.19 a pound, over 30 pounds, 99 cents, which is awesome. Large things that weigh over 10 pounds, you get for 50% off. Books are 50 cents each, comforters are $4 each, and then the like furniture and stuff, anything big, they have priced individually. I grabbed these mums, but I ended up putting them back. Just some fake flowers. And I found a magic eight ball, and that was fun. Is 2021 gonna be better than 2020? As, As I, I see, see it, it, yes. Ooh, here we go. <laughs> Thank goodness. Let's take a look at the things here rather than seeing them in my cart. I did bring home these several things and I can share them right now in a bit of a haul. Now this is a curious piece because I found four of these in a vendor booth in an antique co-op I would say two or three years ago and I purchased them because I just thought that they were neat they are like a stained gourd um Earth says they look like boobs he's right um <laughs> but I have four of them in a basket in the living room there was another one in one of the bins as well but it was cracked but I did salvage this one and it will be added to my little collection of weird stained boobs. This is just a string of garland. It's about four feet long. Has these nice little sewed gingerbread people and hearts, little Christmas trees, and these are cinnamon sticks. And yes, it smells very cinnamon-like, and I kind of like that. I will hold on to these for a display for just you know display purposes in our booth or something later this year it'll just add a nice little touch of the holidays i found 12 of these napkin rings they are a very light maybe aluminum not quite sure material but they're light and i love that there was 12 of them that's a nice large set and i'm going to keep them together and sell them on ebay as the 12 set and of course I found deer actually I couldn't believe that I found deer in really nice condition they have some wear um, but there's no chips or cracks or anything and I don't think they're all that old they're nice and protected on the bottom with the felt so it's hard to tell how old they are they are not marked um, haven't decided yet if I will list these guys on eBay or if I will keep them for myself. If you all have been watching my most recent videos, I have a bit of a thing for deer uh, right now. So it's quite possible that they will hang out here in my house just for a while. You caught a glimpse of this little guy. I don't even know if he cost a penny. He weighs nothing. <laughs> but he's a little clip and he's one of my new ornaments for the tree. Just super cute. And then I have a bit of a mystery. I think possibly these are ashtrays. I'm not 100% sure. They are a hobbyist piece. They're signed by an Edith Talbot. One of them has uh, some damage here in the lip of the mouth. And I pulled out some pretty disgusting cotton balls from in there. So I don't know what the intent of these was I'm guessing single-use ashtray because it's I mean it's not really deep enough to have been like a sauce um, I was thinking maybe a soy sauce or something but it's not really deep enough and they don't stand up in any kind of way so it's a bit of a mystery if you have any ideas please feel free to add those below I'd love to hear them I did post these on a Facebook page and the consensus was probably ashtray but let me know if you have any other ideas. 
Let's take a minute to look into my aunt's cart and see what goodies she found. I see lots of books. Apparently plastic fruit. <laughs> Let's take a look. Books, books, books. Oh yeah, she found a apple, brand new in the box, Pampered Chef Apple Horror. It's awesome. This is fruit for preschool. Those fruit. are eggs for preschool. Oh, I found a rooster. That's awesome. Is that marked? Blue sky. Oh yeah, that's a blue sky piece. Check that out. Very nice. No chippies? No, nah, I don't think so. That's awesome. Isn't this amazing? What is that? Tissue cup that fits in your cup holder. It's a little disgusting and dirty. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty handy, though. Another rooster tile. And there's another rooster piece in here. A fit, That's a Fitz and Floyd. Don't pull it out. I can get okay. it. It's a Fitz and Floyd little nice. basket looking piece very cute oh yeah cosplay in america this and is a cool book it's written in this language and very cool this is neat this is a big picture book that she picked up very cool whoa that's scary yeah very cool she did she grabbed some good books some old kind of cookbooks so I will put her link to her eBay underneath so you can uh, go check her eBay out. I don't know what yet will go on eBay for me. I gotta look some stuff up and narrow this cart down, I think. After we did a little bit of shopping on the Goodwill shop side, which I will be sharing that video on Thursday, we came back over because they shift out all of the bins and they reload them with new things. So actually, while the girls and Earth were checking out our stuff on the other side, Beth and I ran over just to take a peek and to see if there was anything worth um, taking home. And she did find a couple of things. This is one of the things that she found um, in her second look over here. I did not find anything that I absolutely thought I needed, so this will conclude our trip to the bins. It is hard actually trying to focus on everything and to look down and to keep the camera focused. Oh, this was funny. We actually found a second one of these temptations, which I tried to convince her to purchase um, because I already had one. And I thought it might be fun to see who's would sell first on eBay. And that, my friends, was the haul. I think we did pretty good for a bins haul to find some amazing quality things. Um, I think that's wonderful. And some of these things will be listed on eBay. I was super excited to find that painting that will be hanging on my wall here soon. But I think all in all, this haul cost about $26 or $27 which is pretty fantastic. Please, if you have not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Click on that alarm bell so you know when I post a new video. I will be posting videos now on Tuesdays and Thursdays and maybe a surprise one on the weekend. So like, comment, share, and subscribe. All those things help me out so much. I appreciate you watching. Please take care and I will see you on Thursday.